Hi everyone! So, there are many ways to distribute loot in Classic WoW. There are many different loot systems, both inside the game, like free for all, monster loot, round robin, need before greed, and so on, and group loot, uh, as well as a bunch of looting systems that were invented by players, such as, let's say, DKP or raid rolling. Now, in this short video, I want to look closer at raid rolling, and by that I mean Let's say you're gonna give out an idol from some group, so the raid leader writes slash roll 20, and then he gives the idol to player 18, according to his um, to his raid raid groups. Uh, and of course, the standard group loot would be, for example, when you're doing scholomance and everyone just needs on the scourge stones. It's also randomness. Um, and people often find these systems to be fair because randomness does not favorize and it does not discriminate. Uh, it doesn't care who you are, it doesn't care about your relationship to the raid leader, and it, for good or worse, doesn't care about your performance. So a lot of people consider this to be a fair way to distribute loot. The problem, however, is that when you are distributing a larger amount of loot, you're not gonna be expecting, or at least you shouldn't be expecting, to get a fair distribution. And to illustrate this, I have decided to make a simulated distribution of 80 onyxia bags and so here we are quickly in excel just look at the math so i took a random number generator and asked it to generate 80 numbers between 1 and 40 and this is exactly what a raid leader would have done over time as he or she distributed the 80 bags uh, so here we have the first 40 rolls in column a for example there is one one there's no two there's two threes uh, no 4, no 5, 1, 6, and so forth. And then we have the uh, other 40 rolls. And here we have just the frequency for each number. So, like I said, there is 1, 1. There are no 2s. There is 2, 3s, and so on and forth. Same thing for the second column. And here we have them summarized. Now, I decided to plot it because it's much easier to see, at least for me. Now, if you average out 80 bags over 40 players, that's gonna be two bags per player, right? And if you took the average uh, number of bags per player according to this chart, you would also get two. The problem is that, let's actually count this, more than half the raid does not have two bags. Uh, as you can see here, I've summarized it. So actually only 18 players have two bags. Everyone else has either more or less than that. and. As you can see here, there are six dots on the zero line, meaning from the distribution of 80 bags, six players didn't get a single one, and they're not gonna be too happy about this. There were six players, you only got one, that's also below average. No, the average is two here. Um, 18 players got two, and then we have a bunch of lucky people, you know, floor players who got three, we even have four players who got four, and there are two lucky players who even got five bags. And as you can see, I summarized it here. So there are gonna be 12 people that are very unhappy, because they're standing here with either no bag or only one bag. Meanwhile, there's a bunch of players who have all either four bags or even five. And this is completely normal if you've been using raid roll or just any kind of loot distribution where the only mechanism of let's say distributing the loot is randomness um, what you're gonna be expecting if we're to generalize this is that you're gonna get what you call a normal distribution where most people are gonna stack up in the middle having either average which would be which would be two or just a low below or above that's gonna be one or three but then you're gonna have a few players who got almost nothing and a few players who got much more. And if you wanna create some drama in your guild, this is a perfect way to do it. Because even if the, I'm gonna call it the mechanism of loot distribution is unbiased, it is not gonna create a fair outcome. And I'm sure you've noticed that if your guild is clearing Onyxia or whatever that some players got so many bags they've started filling up their bank with them and meanwhile, you're probably the sucker or one of the suckers who only got one or maybe none at all. And then, you know, the question might be, well, if we can't use just 
random numbers, what should we do? And the game actually has a solution for this, and that is called the round robin, which I'm sure you've seen people do or even done it yourself in Stratham Live whenever they're distributing the, um, what are they called? The orbs, I can't remember the exact name. And, and the way that works, there is actually an option for that, but I can't, let's see now, I can't switch loot right now, but you can choose the option round robin, and what that will do is that if you get a green item, for example, until everyone else has gotten a green item, you can't get your second one. So, for example, with the orbs, if you get the first one, then you won't get your second one until everyone else has gotten theirs. So what you've basically done is added in another, let's say, part of loot distribution mechanism where it says that if you've gotten one, you can't receive your second one until everyone else has gotten one. And what that would do would, let's say that we're distributing the 40 bags again. That would mean that we are randomly moving every dot to one in a random order, but no one gets to go further than that. And once everyone is at once, is at one, we move up to two. And in this case, no one would be above two. Because there are only 80 bags for 40 people, and um, since everyone needs to get their second bag before you can get your third, uh, that means that once everyone has gotten their second bag, there are no bags left. Meaning that everyone, every single dot, would be at the line in the middle. Which, in my opinion, is way more fair. So I thought that this was just an interesting little thing to show you. It's really related to, I suppose, statistics and probability. Uh, but it, it's, I'm gonna call it a misconcep misconception that a lot of people have about group loot and raid rolling. Because even if the random rolls are fair because they're unbiased, the produced outcome is not fair at all. Unless you think that, you know, six people having nothing and two people having ten bags is fair. But anyway, that was just a little something I found interesting and wanted to show you. Hopefully you found this interesting and maybe you have a suggestion to make to your raid leader. Anyway, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe and I will see you later. By the way, I also stream, so feel free to check out the link in the description. See ya!